It's the kind of beat to go. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Joey and we are here today with World Domination 3.0. Now, I wanted to bring you guys my first thoughts and comments and what I'm feeling with this new update and pretty much just where I'm coming from. Now, there are a ton, a ton of changes in this update, guys. There has been crazy gameplay changes. There has been art changes. There has been all sorts of different things. And it's a lot to really just absorb, take in, digest. It's just a whole lot of stuff. But I'm kind of taking a look as... We got to be patient with this, guys. It's going to take a lot of time for some of us to get used to it. And I know personally, I'm going to be starting fresh on both ends of the game just because I want to take the time to really get to know each side again and, you know, fall in love again. That sounded really cheesy, you guys know. But really, just kind of getting to know. I mean, it's just going to be a lot more fun for all these new players coming in and everyone's starting fresh. Now, first thing that you will notice is that these new graphics are absolutely gorgeous now as you can see these are these colors everything it's very vibrant vibrant Ugh. it's all looking really great guys some of these new changes like minor things just like the rations the crates the coins those new things are revamped as you can see they look really sharp i love these new buttons the green buttons are phenomenal i know some people are really loving these guys because they're more tactile for me i just feel it's like more of like a something you can push it just looks better for me and i'm just liking it, it just makes it easier i feel like i can push it better guys <laughs> uh everything's pretty looking nice i mean as you can see this is quite so much the rest of it this bottom bar right here you could say the task bar you could say is looking really fresh i love some of the new art they put in there this is looking nice now these packs this stuff is amazing i love how this looks this looks beautiful to me now i'm just gonna open a tiny common pack just to show you guys what it looks like when you do buy a pack i don't want to spend all my coins just yet so if we go ahead and open that as you can see we got these sweet new animations i'm gonna go ahead and tap that and what's it gonna be this is just amazing. I love how this looks, guys. I'm just going to go ahead and tap through these. And as you can see, these animations are so crisp. They look beautiful. I, I love it. It's great. Now, that's pretty much the opening pack. They have this new Get a Legendary No Matter What Epic Pack Bundle. I'm loving that. That's all great. I'm not going to spend all my coins on that just yet, but I'm really liking that pretty so far. Now, they did implement the new metal system, you can say, in iOS 8 and in those supported devices. And that's giving us a sweet 60 FPS frames per second it's looking really sharp really crisp clean smooth everything about it is absolutely wonderful now another thing great 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 button i've been waiting for this for who knows how long ever since i first got the beta is you can switch to either uh what is it faction or style of the game at a click of a button as you can see i can play as the infected really quick right there and i'm loving that that's great because of that it's been being requested by tons of people but for so long and it's a great addition also the power save mode sweet and also guys if you're wondering all the changes listed out for you i'm going to be throwing down the change log in the description for you guys but as you can see it's all looking great i love this power save mode it's pretty nifty i haven't gotten to test it out yet but i know in the past world domination has been pretty taxing on my battery you could say and I'm glad they put that in. It's going to be really nice to have. Now, next one. This is pretty random, but quick fight. If I wanted to go ahead and fight, ah, Manila's not going to be the best example for that, I don't think. So Rio de Janeiro, if I was to go click fight, I can push, uh, where is it? Where are you hiding, quick fight button? Let me go ahead and check out San Fran. I think that might get me a better, hmm. Well, you know, what? <laughs> it's somewhere. I can't remember exactly right now. That's just me having a brain fart, but, um, you can quick fight. It'll use all of your st team stamina or just one bar of it. And you can pretty much just have them instant fight. And if you win, you get the stuff. If you don't, you lose. So it's kind of a gamble. But if you got a good team and you believe they can do it, go for it. See, take a chance. And you'll be able to get some good resources pretty quick like that. Now, another one, the gameplay. It's completely revamped. We have cooldowns now. We have one unit placed at a time. And I'm going to go ahead and get into that for you guys real quick. So we're going to head over to, hmm. You know, let's go head up Lima right here. Or Rio. Eh. Let's go to Cape. I don't know where to go, guys. Let's go to Rio right here. We're going to go on hard. Let me go ahead and fight. I'm going to swap out my team here. Looks like everybody's all ready to go now. Let's go. I'm going to bring my... I'm just going to bring my pretty much OP team, you could say. Let me go ahead and swap out my Merc right there for my Sharpshooter so we can get some of those guys in there. And I'm going to be honest, guys. The gameplay is extremely different. Hope. Okay, there you go. The quick fight right there. You click that. We'll see what happens. Uh, I'm not going to risk it right now. But... It's definitely just what I explained earlier. Uh, Rio de Janeiro. Here we go. Also, load time. Servers seem a little bit faster. It's all looking good. And I crashed. What? You know, it's a beta, guys. Don't worry. Plus, it's probably my device. It's really shaky, you could say. It's probably my iPad. It's gone through a whole lot. It's... Ugh. One man, your problem. This is definitely 
it's either the beta or it's just my device. I'm leaning towards my device just because ugh, this thing's seen a, a whole lot. All right, so what can I borrow here? I'm gonna roll with that from Fury. Fight, hopefully no crashing again. Hopefully, it's probably just because I'm recording right now. Probably what caused it. But as you can see, we're getting right into it. So as of right off the bat, interesting. Now, I believe it's been really focused around tower defense. That's what I'm feeling like. It's really interesting on how you're having to strategize and where you wanna put your points. And it's very, very important on what you're doing. So right off the bat, let me go ahead and put down a fire chief there. I'm going to move that point. I have to drag now. Pretty crazy. I know. And right here, if I put the sniper back here, this sniper is going to be only focusing in on the mutated zombies. That is an extremely very nice. However, they were nerfed a little bit, or you could say their damage was lowered quite a bit. But I think it's going to be worth it in the long run, guys. It's going to be really nice. It really focuses in on the brutes first to get down those guys and just knock them out now <clears throat> i am running into a slight problem so i'm gonna throw that gunfighter down and i'm gonna reevaluate after but let's go ahead and move this guy over here let's put down destructor keep forgetting the drag guys it's kind of awkward um machine gunner where am i gonna put you machine gunner is gonna go right over here now while we're doing this guys all of these guys are going to be sort of uncooling down and they will be able to be used again it's just going to be a kind of a matter of time so let me go ahead and start these guys off i'm going to go ahead and start this wave this first wave is going to be coming at me and i'm just going to speed it up just real quick so we can kind of get people going it looks like we're handling it pretty well the sniper's picking off people just how i like it i'm going to go ahead and send this uh, wave right here because i'm feeling pretty confident about it it looks like we're handling it actually very well um Looks like we're not have too much trouble if we go ahead and launch this guy. Now, I am a little bit worried about my sniper being seen, so I'm going to move him just over just a little bit. Now, it looks like we're starting to get a little bit of trouble here. I'm just going to go ahead and throw down another fire chief because we don't want that gunfighter getting too overwhelmed. I'm going to throw down a scatter shot too and another gunfighter just because we're so close to that objective. I don't want to risk it, guys. It's not worth risking. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is probably the hardest part, this grind of having to just quickly place down units if you get in a crunch. It's kind of difficult i'm not loving that 100 percent, but it's a necessary evil you could say so let's see if i can drag these guys over come on guys come over here come over here for me okay these oh by the way these uh molotov cocktails they pretty much saved the day oh my gosh see i'm stinking this right now guys i'm gonna be honest i i'm still trying to figure it out i just got my hands on this it's gonna be rough for a couple days guys just bear with me here all right, so let me go ahead and flare these guys over, stim up these guys, and these Molotov cocktails about to come in huge handy. Go ahead and drop that there. Fire Chief here, Desperado there. Everybody's running here. I let them take that objective just because I figured I had no chance. It was going downhill no matter what. And let's move down that commando over there. I'm feeling Destructor is going to take these guys for me. I'm going to throw down the scatter shot to take down that brute for me. Easy peasy, and I feel like Destructor's going to be able to handle this. If not, hopefully I'll be getting some more units to throw down very soon. But if he goes down, so be it. i got to th throw a Fire Chief down there, and we'll just kind of throw down a couple more guys to go ahead and finish them off, and we per we, we make it. But, guys, as you can notice, the gameplay is a whole lot different. It's going to take some time to get used to it. I'm, ki I'm kind of liking it, though. I know it's really difficult, but it just adds a whole new dim dimension to the game. I can see a new screen right here. I like it. It looks good on the whole stats stuff. Stamina is pretty rough, but as you can see, based on how many trophies you get, you can get so many different cards. I'm going to go ahead and show my rewards here, and it looks like I got 2,076 cans or rations and a sniper. Nothing too crazy, but if I got that to that 400 mark, I would have gotten another one, possibly cans. Not 100% sure, but guys, that is pretty much my thoughts, what I'm thinking on the whole PV, not PVP, but the 3.0, guys. <clears throat> but yeah, it's looking good, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this 3.0. I'm going to be pushing out some more content very soon. Because I'm 3.0 out now. 3.0 is out now. I'm excited to be pushing tons of stuff out for you guys. Guys, I hope you did enjoy this little 3.0 walkthrough game over, guys. But thank you so much for watching, and I hope you did enjoy. And I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.